I felt for some time that the small line in the Bible did not fully express the reality of the Christ child and the family and their journey into Egypt as a part of his story. For example, it may well have been that Christ actually spoke Egyptian or ancient Egyptian because he was a four-year-old child when he returned to Palestine and Judea. So he may well have had been deeply influenced by the ancient Egyptian culture even as a child because he lived and played in the streets of um, various cities throughout Egypt. And so it felt, I felt myself that the existential reality of Christ in Egypt was some st a story that hadn't been told. I wanted to find out whether there was a reality still existing there and of course it came clear to me with the Coptic Christians and their knowledge of the family and their knowledge of the journey, which is well documented in Coptic Christianity, I was able then to make that journey in the footsteps of the Holy Family and see the various places where uh, Christ himself became, in a sense, began to become an avatar. He made many miracles in Egypt, which is something people don't realize that he was already um, creating miracles within his childhood experience. And uh, that seemed to me to be, a, in a sense, a preparation that he went through as a, a divine child that would have served him in good stead when he went back to Judea and became an adult and therefore went on to become the God-man that we're aware of. So the journey began in the Delta region of Egypt. I went to the early uh, to the places that they first encountered when they crossed the border from Palestine or uh, Judea, I suppose, in those days. Um, the family walked, for the most part, through this country into the um, what we call the Jewish settlements of the Delta region, and that those Jewish settlements would have protected and helped them because they were able to give Joseph work because Joseph, after all, was a carpenter and was able to get work in these areas. And so my journey was in the footsteps of them staying in the various monasteries in the Delta region. I met some very interesting monks. I met some very interesting nuns, uh, in, particularly in the Delta region, uh, who themselves were deeply committed to the story of uh, the Holy Family as though it had happened yesterday. The, the interesting thing about the journey is that it didn't happen 2,000 years ago, but rather happens right now. So it's an ongoing metaphysical story or metaphysical history. And that appealed to me because of my understanding and knowledge of tribal peoples in other parts of the world. I could feel this story a, a replication of the ancient stories that I've discovered among Aborigines and among the tribal peoples in Borneo and other places that I had visited.